Welcome to Car Spy TV. Hello there. This is a windscreen washer pump that I removed from a Ford Focus. And in this video, we're going to take it apart, which realistically I suspect means smash it open to get a better idea of what's inside and how it works. This is going to be interesting. We'll also figure out why, after 17 years of working perfectly, it broke and I had to remove it from our 2005 Ford Focus. That was a busy afternoon. Okay, so let's have a first look. Water enters the pump here through this inlet pipe. Can you see down there? And then there's an electric motor here that spins around very quickly and that propels the water through these outlet pipes here at the back. And one of these sends water to the windscreen, so you can clean that, and the other sends it to the back window. I can't actually remember which one goes to where, but I knew on the day that I replaced it. If we have a look at the top here, there's an electrical connector, and we can see there's quite a bit of dirt and corrosion down there. I don't think that's necessarily enough to stop the pump working, but who knows? As for getting inside, this thing isn't designed to easily come apart and go back together. I can't see any screws, for example. There is something there that maybe looks a little bit like a clip. So what I'll do is grab some tools, have a go at that area, and we'll take it from there. Which tool shall we start with then? Well, that's no use. That's clearly unsuitable. That's my old socket set. Maybe later, definitely later. But I think we'll start with some screwdrivers. Right, well, I'd like to start by removing this top piece. So let's get the screwdriver under that bit that looks a little bit like a clip and push it up there. Can you see that? Okay, now wiggle that round a bit. If this all breaks, I'm not too worried about it because this pump is never going to be used again. Right, let's see if I can twist that off. Now, twisting it off might well break the contacts inside, but that's not the end of the world. Come on. Still well on there. Hang on, let's get back in with the screwdriver. Give it a bit more jiggery pokering. There we go, it is definitely coming loose. Right, okay, come on now. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> yes, I have broken the contacts, I thought I might, but that doesn't matter. Okay, interesting. Okay, so this is the top of the electric motor. There we go, this area here. And this is the remnants of one of the electrical pins that got damaged when I took the top off. The other one snapped off completely and that's still down there somewhere. And as we can see, this area around here is quite damp and grubby. So I'm wondering if water that's supposed to be contained down here has made its way up to the top and that's causing some of the problems. Let's just give it a quick clean. Oh yeah, that. Lots of muck on there, if the camera will focus. So, maybe that's part of the problem. Not sure. Doesn't look too good though, does it? Anyway, let's see what else we can take off. Right, now I'd like to get a look at the other end of the motor, the output shaft, and I think that's an impeller down there, that little white thing attached to the output shaft. Now perhaps the best way to go about that is to get these pipes out of the way first. Let's see. I suspect they're quite happy where they are and a bit reluctant to come off, but you never know. Might have to fight this. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Coming off. Well, okay, there we go. I've been lucky. Right. And I'm wondering if we can now just pull the electric motor out of its plastic housing with these pliers. So if I grab hold of that contact pin down there and give it a pull, a bit of a twist. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, so this piece here, this is the actual motor. And, well, that's quite wet, isn't it? Let's just dry that off. And look at how dirty it is in there. Blech. Right. Okay, we've lost the impeller. That's the output shaft there. So where's the impeller? Must be down there somewhere still. I'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, now I'd also like to have a look at the little impeller, which is stuck down there at the bottom of the motor, but there's no easy way to get to that, so I'm gonna to have to force my way in with this hacksaw. So I'm not keen to cut my hand off, so what I'm gonna do is grip the pump, or what's left of it with these mole grips, like so, make this a bit tighter actually. Okay, and then I'm gonna balance that on my spanners. This could be a bit awkward. Let's have a go. Okay. And now I'm going to get in there with my knife and see if I can pry it open. Yeah, we are having some luck. Okay. Right. So, this grey thing in there, that's the impeller. <laughs> or what's left of it, because it looks like I've accidentally sawn through that as well. Never mind, let's take that out. Oh, that is a sorry state, isn't it? Yeah, oh dear. Yep, that is well and truly... Beyond economical repair, I think is the polite way of saying it. Anyway, let's hoover up these little bits of black plastic and then we'll have a look at what's left. So, now the pump is in pieces, we can more easily see how it works. So, as I said earlier, water enters the pump through this intake pipe there. The electric motor then spins, which in turn spins this impeller, which, which as you can see, is definitely falling apart. I think the lesson today is never let me anywhere near an electric pump when I have a hacksaw. Anyway, the impeller pushes the water out through these pipes, which in turn sends it off to the windscreen and indeed the back window. So quite simple really as a principle but the big question is why has this pump stopped working well i think i figured it out okay in there is a big rubber seal that sits about here when the motor and impeller are within the case and that seal separates the impeller, which is supposed to get wet, from the electric motor, which is not. And I think what's happened is that the seal has failed, so water is creeping up from here and soaking the electric motor and indeed the contacts. And it was pretty wet when it came out. So let's have a look at that rubber seal, shall we? Take it all apart again. Take it a bit of poke. And there we are. There is the rubber seal, which sits about there. So that's my theory. I think the electric motor got wet and that broke it. So do you think I'm right or do you think something else broke this water pump? As always, you're welcome to have your say in the comments section of this video. And I think that's about it before we go. Just one more thing. If you haven't already subscribed to Car Spy TV, you're welcome to do so. But for every day you don't, I'm going to chop up another water pump. <laughs> Bye.